Jameson Redding here with Nakwa Adventure Gear, and I want to talk to you today about how to install the brand new Nakwa Pro Power Kit. Now in this kit, you're going to get a battery, a charger, and everything you need to wear any 12 volt electronic device like a depth finder. So let's take a look at what comes in the kit. You're going to find a sheet of instructions, a 12 volt charger that you can set aside for right now, the lithium 4.4 amp hour 12 volt battery, and of course it has plenty of cable, a short pigtail piece of wire that you're going to connect to whatever 12 volt device that you're using. A small pack with some heat shrink, about six inches worth of heat shrink, and a couple of marine grade waterproof butt connectors. To do the install, you may need a few other items, a set of wire strippers. I have here a set of pliers that have a, a crimping tool so that I can crimp the marine grade butt connectors, and either a heat gun or just your everyday lighter. And that's to melt the heat shrink and also the marine grade butt connectors. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is take the wire lead that comes with the kit and the piece of heat shrink tubing. Now you can trim this down if you like. I, I go ahead and use the whole entire six inches because I, that makes sure that everything's gonna be covered and nice and clean at the end of the install. But I'm gonna slide that down on the lead and get it out of the way for now. Then, again, the lead that came with the kit has the two red and black leads coming from the main wire. So I've stripped a little bit of the insulation that covers both of those off to give me a little bit more room, being careful not to cut into either one of those leads. The next thing I'm gonna do is strip about a quarter of an inch off the tip of both the positive and negative leads. This doesn't have to be exact. And twist the wire just a little bit so that it doesn't fray when I put it in the butt connector. I've done the same thing to the lead that comes out of my 12 volt electronic device. In this case, it's an LED light bar. Most of your depth finders and fish finders and things like that are gonna come with two bare leads or if you're trying to do a bait tank or whatever. So I have both sets. I'm going to basically just connect positive to positive, negative to negative. In some cases, you'll also have a ground wire on your 12 volt electronic device. You can take that ground wire and put it in line with the black or negative lead coming out. So taking the marine grade butt connectors that came in the kit, I'm going to go ahead and crimp this. Starting with my negative, it doesn't matter really which one, but using the crimping tool, I want to make sure I have a good connection. Make sure the wire is slid up in there so that it, you get a good crimp. And then kind of check while lightly pulling on it to see. I'm going to do the same thing to the negative wire that goes out to the battery connector that comes with the kit. Again, before I crimp, I'm going to make sure that that negative wire is all the way in there. It is. Now just simply repeat the process on the positive. Take the waterproof butt connector that comes in the kit. I'm going to slide it on, crimp it down. Okay, those all seem to be holding nicely. So the next step is to melt the ends so that you get a nice waterproof connection. So using just a standard lighter and being careful not to burn yourself or hold the flame too long in one place, I'm going to start from the inside right where you can see that the crimped part stops and you just have the plastic coating over the wire. And I'm going to work my way from there out. 
So I'm going to hold it directly in the blue part of the flame. And you'll see it start to shrink. And I'm going to move from one to the other so that I don't overheat either one. Now what this is doing is not only shrinking the plastic onto the other, but there's also a glue that it's activating inside that's going to give you that nice watertight connection. So I'm going to move to the other side and do the same thing. Again, working from the inside out. That way there's no air trapped in it. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to make sure I have it even on both sides. And that's going to give you a nice watertight connection on both your leads. The heat shrink that you're going to now slide over both of those, once this is cooled, you can slide the heat shrink over it. That's really more just to keep it nice and clean and, and add a little bit more protection, but this is already watertight. So you don't have to worry about any water getting in or, or hurting it or corroding these connectors. So let that cool down, then slide a piece of heat shrink tubing over both leads. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit, but that's what you want. I'm going to slide it till it's centered, so the connectors are centered right in the center of the heat shrink. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start from the inside and work my way out, being careful not to hold the flame too long in one place. The reason you start from the inside is to make sure that no air gets trapped. And it gives you a nice, tight, clean connection. You want to kind of spin it a little bit as you go. Now once that side is cooled, I will repeat the process on the other side. Again, be careful not to burn yourself. Let that cool down really good, but once it has, you can take a hold of it and do the same thing working from the center out. Slowly moving the flame back and forth, being careful not to hold it too long in one place. All right, now set that aside and let it cool really good before you, you go to use it. It'll only take a few minutes. Once that's cooled, it's time to test the connection. Again, in this case, we have connected the connector that comes in the package to an LED light bar. This could be your depth finder or any other electronic device. But I'm simply going to plug it in to the 12 volt battery and see if I have power. There you go. Now the specs on this battery, it is 12 volts and 4.4 amp hours. So make sure that you check whatever electronic device that you're powering and make sure that it's compatible with that. This is a lithium battery. It's fully sealed. It has two different ways of protecting it from the elements. Inside this rubber housing, it is inside a silicone housing. And then you have the rubber and then the last is the nylon. So that's going to keep this battery really water resistant and it's going to hold up to all the elements that you throw at it out there on the water. So it's a great option for wiring a depth finder, lights, or any other electronic device that you want to power while you're out there kayak fishing or just on the kayak in general or on the water in general. The Velcro strap also makes a great way to control your wires and keep them nice and tucked in. Especially when you have a depth finder that has all that transducer cable, this is a good way to be able to store that cable inside the kayak. And it allows you to be able to put this on any kind of strap or bungee or whatever in the kayak. So the connectors that are attached to the battery and that are provided to power your electronic device are actually watertight connectors as well. You'll see a rubber O-ring and once you plug in the male to the female, you can simply screw that down tight which will keep that a watertight connection so you don't have to worry about corrosion and things like that when you're out in the water. When it comes time to charge the battery, 
You can take the provided charger, it plugs into any 110 outlet, just your standard charger, and it'll plug right in just like the lead that goes to your electronic device. You plug that into the wall. You see right now the light is green. That's going to let you know that your battery does have charge. When you plug it in, that light will turn red and it will not turn green again until the battery is fully charged. I recommend as soon as you open the pack and take this battery out, go ahead and plug it in so you have a nice full charge on the battery. For more information on the Pro Power Kit and all the other great products that Nakwa Adventure Gear makes, go to www.nakwa.com.